What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff Benjamin with iDownload Blog. I'm going to show you how to install SIOS, an SNES emulator on your iOS 8 device. No hacking, no jailbreaking required, anything like that. So what you need to do is open up the Safari browser and you want to go to this website, iEmulators.com. Super simple, super easy. Then you just want to tap the apps button. All right. And then you want to scroll down and then you should see the SIOS. SNES emulator. Just tap on it and then you should see an install button. Tap on install. All right, so dl.boxcloud.com would like to install SIOS. So just tap on install, go to your home screen, and you can see it's trying to load up there. So it's installing. And you'll get a pop up that says something like this Unable to download app, SIOS cannot be downloaded at this time. So anytime you encounter this error message, you want to tap on retry to keep it going, to keep the process going, because we need to change something now that will allow this to install. So tap retry and then scroll over to the first home screen page, go to your settings app, go to general, and then go down to date and time. Now, whenever the retry button pops back up, unable to download app again, like we said, tap on retry. Now we want, we want to turn off set automatically, and then we want to set the date to May 26. So we're just going to tap on the date. And again, if it pops up again, just tap retry, set it to May 26. Right there. All right. And then tap the uh, general button in the upper left hand corner, go back to your home screen, scroll over, and there you go. There is S I O S installed just like that. Super simple, super easy. So basically, whenever the retry thing comes up that says unable to, to download, keep tapping retry, go to the settings app, go to the general section, go to date and time and set it to May 26 and it will install just like that. So now our emulator is installed we can load it up now. Tap on it and there it goes. So now all you need to do is just add some games. So that is how you uh, run you have basically an SNES emulator on your device and it works. Um, now, as far as ROMs are concerned, uh, if you own the games, so for instance, if you own Super Mario World, for example, then you can use the ROM. If you don't own the game, then you're definitely entering a gray area because there's a whole thing about statute of limitations, how long the game is under copyright, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so just keep that in mind. But if you own the game, like for instance, I own Super Mario World and Donkey Kong Country and quite a few other good, great titles, um, then you can play those ROMs. And just a few uh, notes of warning. Uh, number one, once you launch SIOS for the first time, so act after you actually have launched it, uh, you can go back to the settings, go back to uh, general and then date and time and then set it back to set automatically. And then you can still use the app uh, like this. Now, if you reboot your device, you have to go through the entire process again. So just keep that in mind.